Broken wings, learn to fly all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to arise. Singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life You're only waiting For this moment to be free It is I, James Calm, your half-assed reporter, the guy on the bike. And we are on the bottom of the Lower East Side. I saw an interesting show a couple of days ago, and I thought I'd come back and check it out. It's at Karma. Stay tuned. Hello. Well, we're gonna dodge in here and try to get some pictures of Santa Gatasia Rolled Secrets I guess I should make a disclaimer Normally I don't cover consecutive shows at a gallery unless there's something extraordinary I guess it was last week when I went over and looked at Peter Haley at their other space. But I saw this and said, you know, we'll make an exception. This is some very interesting stuff. I guess we should all just do a shout out to our friends in Barbados, Buenos Aires, and Berlin. This is titled Ripe. Paper acrylic vegetable tints on bark cloth. Well, I saw the the work and I didn't know exactly what the story was on the the medium. I thought these were some kind of trade beads, something like that. And uh, well, as I uh, look at the press release, I see this is a little. Even more interesting than that. So this is 76 by 66 and a half inches. Also, it's uh, sweltering out there in New York. We've been in a heat spell for the last five or six days. So everybody is out walking around the streets sweating. Let me read a little bit from this. <clears throat> Press release, Gatasia transforms natural materials and post-consumer paper waste into complex mosaic-like works. Using materials such as hand-rolled paper, beads, cloth made from soak and pounded strips of inner bark, the Uganda-based artist merges fiber art, installation, painting, and sculpture. The beads, sourced from re recycled paper, and first hand-rolled and cut to form and then sewn into the back into the bark cloth to create an intricate composition motivated by an innate sensibility of form. Gatasia's often monumental works oscillate between figuration and vintage posters, pages from wig sale pamphlets, and outdated textbooks. Well, 
I um, was also thinking that a lot of a lot of outsider art is made out of mosaics of some kind. I'd love to go to the the Visionary Museum in Baltimore, and uh, actually they've got a whole facade on the front of the museum that's all mosaics made from broken mirrors and pieces of liquor bottles and things. I was also thinking of Ana Tetsui, who's another artist that uses a lot of oh, things like liquor bottle caps, uh, other things that are woven together into huge, I guess I would call them tapestries. And, oh, I can't see, these are all sewn onto your bark cloth. It's titled Growing Seeds. 2023 paper beads on bark cloth. I like what Santa Gatasia is doing here with the kind of three-dimensional layering of the the beads and uh, of sewing on appliques. I think he gets some very Wonderful effects. I also think Sana's got a great uh, color sense, and you can see that in this piece. It's titled Family Meeting. Okay, so this is pretty abstract. I mean, there's kind of a biomorphic quality to it, but if you stand back and think a little bit, you can kind of see some figures, reclining figures. We've got the circular heads. Maybe there's a table in there. This is 81 by 75. Again, here's another beautiful, coloristically beautiful piece. Voices of Peace. 2023, this is 80 by 62. Well, I think this follows a certain tradition. Look over yonder, 2023. The exhibition highlights two series, World Secrets 2023 and Paths, The Afri African Journey 2020. The works that comprise World Secrets are primarily figurative and often, fe often feature intricate depictions of forest settings and social gatherings, as well as beaded fringes. Gatesha's focus on trees extends beyond their form and into their complex, interconnected relationships with their surroundings. Okay. I like what he's done here. Separates the, the white beads from the dark beads. And in a lot of ways, I'm thinking this makes me think of a, a Van Gogh painting in the way that his 
brush strokes would be laid in and parallel in sections like this to kind of delineate particular forms. Let's go in the back room. Single mum. 2020 paper beads on bark cloth, 87 by 43. Well, all four of the pieces back here are very similar palette. So I guess, guess these would be from the African Journey series. Caring 2020 paper beads on bark cloth. This is 84 by 45. I also kind of like the uh, irregular shape of these. Very uh, organic. I was also uh, interested in noting that, uh, I guess they're saying these are sewn on here, but uh, I was thinking some of them looked like they were glued on. This is titled Visiting 2020, 82 by 58. Okay. Okay, and I like the way that this form is kind of uh, sewn in on top of the other layers of beads. So there is a real kind of interesting three-dimensional quality about parts of this. Okay, this is a this is a fun piece. It's titled Self Sufficiency 2020 Paper Beads on Bark Cloth 82 by 40. See, I'm looking at this and kind of thinking about a Paul Clay painting, something like that. And I think this probably has the most reduced palette of any of the pieces we've seen so far. street and catch three more pieces. Okay. So there's the ancillary space. So 
So this is thirst. 90 by 59 and we don't have a date. But I assume this is the more recent series. Actually, I think this group of works are a little more high keyed color wise than the a lot of the work in the other gallery. This is help, 2021, 54 by 37. Okay, I do like the stuff that he's doing that has the uh, Two or three levels of beads laid in there. Okay, here's our last piece. This is Home 2021. So this has been James Conn reporting on Santa Gatenja, World Secrets here at Karma. You can like this, share, link it up to all your social media sites, and you can leave your thoughts, ideas, comments, criticisms, and suggestions below. And you can subscribe. And all we ask is that you say, Thank you, Kate.